everybody, Cher here with you. Welcome to my channel. So today I would like to add to my growing uh, playlist that I put together that I'm starting to make some little tutorials on how I make some of these cute little accessories for my fairy gardens. So today I'm going to be focusing on how to make one of these cute little docks for your little chairs that we made last time. And I'm also going to show you how to make the little fire pit as well. I'm also going to be kind of revamping my last fairy garden here because you can see now that my daffodils have kind of gotten kind of unruly and they're starting to die and they're not looking so so pretty anymore. So I'm going to be fixing that up as well today and I think I'm actually going to with the new dock I'm going to make today I'm going to actually stain that one or paint it actually brown. And I'm going to make a couple of new chairs and I'm going to make them white because I think a brown dock and white chairs in this particular scene would actually look better. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So please stick around and I will show you how to make these cute little accessories for your own fairy gardens. So the supplies that you're going to need to make one of these cute little docks are very simple. You're going to need some of these jumbo craft sticks and you're gonna need some extra jumbo craft sticks. Um, I don't know if you can see the dimensions of these. They're 0.72 inches by 5.86 inches on these ones. And then these extra jumbo ones are actually 7.9 by 0 0.8. And you can see that they're the difference in width here. You got some really fat ones here and some a little bit skinnier ones. So you're also going to need something to cut the sticks with. So I prefer to use these little curved gardening little shears. These work awesome. They're nice and sharp and you can get a nice cut with these. And if you ever have to make any curved cuts, these work really well for that as well. You're going to need a glue gun, some glue sticks. And if you want to stain them or paint them afterwards, you're going to need a little brush and you're going to need some, I just use acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree and I've got a brown and a white one. I'm going to make a couple more chairs. I'm going to paint my chairs white this time and I am going to paint my little dock brown. And that is basically all you're going to need. Oh, and maybe a pencil just so you can make some measurements. I don't actually use a ruler or anything like that. I just kind of eyeball it and just use my pencil and just try to make things even that way. So let's get started. All right, so I'm working again on my little handy little plastic mat here so that as I'm gluing and cutting I can kind of protect my granite countertop because I don't want to be having to scrape glue off of that later. So now what I'm going to do is, of course the sticks are round on both ends, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just cut one of the ends right off the bat here. I'm going to cut it straight across. You will find that when you're cutting these bigger sticks that sometimes they do split a little bit easier than some of the smaller sticks did when we made the little chairs. But not a big deal, I mean, um, just keep kind of cutting until you don't get the split part there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a couple more here, straight, straight across. And so if you've already got your little around that chair made, what you can kind of do is use your little chairs here and kind of figure out how wide you want your dock to be. And then you're going to have this little L piece that kind of comes out. And again, you're going to want to decide how wide you want that to be. And that kind of depends on if you're going to be putting like one of these little fire pits on here, which I will show you how to make later. And we'll glue that little rock back on later. Um, yeah, so then what you'll do is to just kind of use your pencil and you're going to just kind of figure out. It also is kind of depends on how big your scene is and how big your container is. As you know, that you're going to kind of use that as a guide as how big your, your dock is going to be as well. So again... Like I said, I never actually measure, I just kind of eyeball it. So what I'm going to do is I kind of want my dock to be about this wide and so that my chairs will fit on here. So I'm going to just make a little mark on this one little stick and I'm going to cut that like so. And then I'm just going to make all these sticks here the same length. So I'm just going to, and I'm just... I'm not using a ruler. <laughs> I'm not very precise with any of this stuff. And that's the great thing about these things is it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be precise. And I plan on painting this after anyway. So if any of my little pencil marks show, it's not going to be a big deal. Now, if you want to be fussy and you want to use some sandpaper or even a nail file just to finish up the little edges here, you can totally do that. So now we've got our little base here and I think that is plenty wide enough as you can see for two little chairs so that's about the right width now we're going to start working on the little L piece here so again I'm just going to cut 
couple of these. And I bet you I could actually, here, here's what we'll do. So I can get probably two in one stick here. Cut the other end off so that it's nice and straight. And now we're just going to figure out how long I need this to be. So I think about right about there. You could just make a total like a little dock like this. You could make it like a rectangular kind of shape. But I kind of like making this L shape because then A, more of the water is kind of visible. And I think it just gives it a little bit more interest rather than having one great big square. But I mean, by all means, if you wanted to do that, that would de definitely be simpler for sure. Um, I mean, this is your fairy garden. These are your accessories. You make them however you like. So then I'm just gonna measure this other piece so it's relatively the same. And this wood is so nice and thin and soft that it's really easy to cut. So there we go. So there's, I think that's probably going to be about the right size right there. So you saw how easy that all came together. Now what we need to do is we need to put this on like a little base. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to glue all these pieces together. And kind of the same way like I did on the backs of these chairs. And I'll just show you. I'll do a couple and then we will continue along here. So what I'm going to do is just take my little pieces and I'm going to get my glue gun ready and I'm just going to put a nice small bead of glue right along the whole stick here. And this is the great thing about this plastic little piece that I'm using. And then you just push them together, give it a little swipe with your finger and then just kind of rub any extra glue off. You want to try to get as much of this glue off as you can because it doesn't take up the paint. Actually, I can show you that with this little chair. It just doesn't paint as well over the glue areas. I I have two coats of brown on this chair and I could probably use a third just to try to cover up some of the areas where the glue just, it just didn't soak up. So anyway, so we'll just go ahead and scrape off any extra glue like that. And then I'm going to put the next piece on. So I'll get these things glued together and then I'll show you what the next step is. So I just gently lifted this piece off after I've got them all glued together. I gently lifted it off of my plastic mat. Now the back has got a lot of extra glue on it and it looks not the greatest but that really doesn't matter because that's going to be the bottom and no one's going to see that anyway. So all I was really worried about was just getting all the extra glue off the top portion here or as much as of it, of it as I could anyways. And yeah so that's what it's going to look like once you get these pieces kind of glued together. Now the next step is to make the base for your little dock. So you're going to use these smaller, they're not quite as wide, these other uh, sticks here. Don't worry that they're a different color. Like I said, you're going to be painting this anyways when you're done. So you can see that this is almost the right length here already. And all I need to do is just cut kind of the rounded edges off here. So that's where this little pencil comes in handy. You're going to want to just cut this so that it's straight the first end off here and then just line this up with your base and make a little mark where the other one needs to be cut and you can even use your little sticks as a if you want to get a straight edge if you want to be fussy about it you can do, totally do that I'm not not really so fussy um, so you can just cut this so this is going to be, so what you're going to do, you're just going to go all the way around and you're going to cut your little base pieces all the way around to the right length. And then I'll show you when we come back, when I have all my pieces all cut, you can just keep doing that all the way around for all the sides. And then I'll show you how to put it all together when we get to that step. So I've got all my support pieces cut now to the right length. So now it's just a matter of just gluing them to the base. So I'm going to just... Again, put a nice small bead of glue right along here. And this is the great thing too, because sometimes these popsicle sticks or these sticks are not completely even. So the glue will kind of help if there's any imperfections or they're not perfectly <laughs> level and straight. It's not a big deal because the glue will help that. So you just hold that there for a few seconds until the glue sets. And then you go to your next piece here. You're gonna glue that into place. 
I see this one's just a tiny bit too long, so I'm just going to go ahead. You might have to do a little trimming here and there as you go along. That's no big deal. There we go. That's perfect. Go ahead and put a bit of glue on here. And then just keep going along here. That looks like it's going to fit just perfectly. And I will add a little bit of glue here to the edge as well, just to butt it up against the other one as well which I, I probably could have done that on the other side here too. You see how fast this actually, once you get all the pieces all cut, this actually goes really quick. Now I can see this one's a little bit too long, so I'm gonna, again, just take my little cutters here, just trim a little off. And that's perfect. I'll put a little glue here, and a little along the bottom. Line it up. For this last two pieces here, I want to make sure that my other piece is going to fit perfectly. And look at that, it actually does, I think. Look at that. That's going to go right like that. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this one into place. And the great thing too about this glue is it dries so quickly. I mean, if you were trying to use wood glue, this or like white glue, this would take you forever. There we go. So it's almost almost there I just have one last little piece here to put on so I'm just gonna make sure this is gonna fit here perfectly and it does oh my goodness look at that okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put glue here here and along the bottom here it's just because that's the way it's going to fit together on here so we'll go like this and this and all along the bottom edge And don't worry if you have little blobs of glue kind of here and there. That can be easily fixed afterwards. And I've glued it to the plastic, but that's okay. It peels off really easy. So there we go. There is our little dock. How cute is that? Now afterwards, if, like I said, if you've got some little blobs of glue that you really don't like the looks of, and of course you're going to want to clean this up a little bit too before you try to paint it because the glue just does not take the paint very well. So I just go back with the hot end of my glue gun and just kind of just run it along a little bit and that will soften the glue and then you can even just wipe it away. Use your finger and scratch it off or whatever you want to do. Yeah, and that just kind of cleans up all the extra little bits of glue. And it definitely is worthwhile doing that because, like I said, once you go to paint it, it will definitely make it look a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint this, and then I'm going to show you what the final product looks like. So I just finished putting the third coat of brown paint on my little dock here, and this is how it's turned out. Pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, so three coats was totally necessary in order to cover all the spots where the, the glue was kind of showing through. And I'll just show you, while I was at it, I also put on another coat on my little chairs and the glue is definitely covered up a little better on those. I could even do maybe just one more coat just on the areas where the glue kind of was just to cover that up. But those turned out pretty good. And then I also painted one of my little Arandac chairs white and then I made another chair so that I would have two and I just put two coats on that, that's still kind of drying. But I think those are gonna look really nice on my little brown dock, they're really gonna pop, I think. So I'm just gonna put those aside. Now the last little piece that we need to add to our little <laughs> dock scene is our little fire pit. Now this is actually so simple and easy to make um, and I'm gonna show you how I did that. But first of all, I'm gonna just show you that around Halloween time, I actually found these awesome black little tea lights. Now, before what I was using was I would just get a white tea light and I would use like a black permanent marker or something or even some black acrylic paint to paint these black. So when I came across these, I got so excited and I grabbed quite a few packages of these because I knew that I'd be using these for this purpose and this purpose only actually, and I've used many of these already. And so the other thing you're gonna need is some sticks. Now you can just go outside and pull a couple of twigs off a little tree right now because hardly any of them have any leaves on yet. So that's one option. Um, but I actually found these. I got this little thing from Dollarama last summer. I paid 
$2.50, oh, sorry, it's upside down, $2.50 for this. I think it's meant to do like, like a border around in your flower beds, but I love this stuff and there's so many twigs on here and they're nice and clean and all cut the same length and everything. So I just pull some of these out whenever I need little twigs when I make little chairs or benches or when I'm doing my little fire pits. So that came in really handy, but you could totally just go get some sticks from outside. That works just as well. And the other thing you're gonna need are some little rocks. Again, you could go collect some rocks from outside. I just happen to have this little container that I got again at Dollarama. This was $3 and these rocks are just the right size and I love that they're all kind of different colors. Uh, Dollar Tree also comes, um, you can get a little bag of these colored little rocks as well in a little mesh bag. So for $1.25, that would work as well. But by all means, just go outside and find some rocks. That, that's, that's, you can't get any cheaper than that. So there you go. So now all you have to do is start gluing some of your little rocks all the way around the base here. So that's what I'm going to start doing. I'll just grab a few rocks here. And it really couldn't be any easier. You want to put a good blob of glue on here just so that your rock will stay on. Now this stuff is not meant to put outside. Um, I think I mentioned that before when I did my little tutorial on the anoradic chairs. Uh, if you plan on putting these things outside and they're going to be in the elements, you're going to want to put some kind of a, like a sealer on them of some sort. And even then, I don't know how well they would hold up to the elements. I really don't know. I know I have put a chair out, <laughs> the very first one that I made, and I didn't put anything on it, and it totally just disintegrated. It just fell apart. All the glue, it just does not hold the, the, the glue gun glue. And yeah, so I would not recommend putting these in your fairy gardens and putting them outside. If they're covered and they're not getting wet, like with rain and stuff like that, I think that would probably work fine. But yeah, this, this glue gun glue just does not hold up very well if it gets wet. So not something I would recommend. So you just keep going until you get this thing covered all the way around. And once I get that part finished, I'll show you what the next step is. So I've got my tea light all covered with the little stones now. They're all glued into place. So the next step is to make this little, kind of like a little teepee here for my, uh, for the fire part. So you just take your little snippers and just start cutting some little pieces. You don't need them to be very long and careful you don't cut yourself. <laughs> Cher has done that before, so please don't do that. And then what you want to do is make kind of like a little triangle down here with your little sticks. And I need to cut a smaller one here. And then I'm just going to glue those into place. This comes together so quick and so easy, especially now if you can get your hands on these little black tea lights, they are perfect for this. Like I said, you wouldn't believe how excited I was when I saw Dollar Tree had black tea lights at Halloween time. I was so happy. So now I've got like my little triangle here. And then the next thing is to actually just put your little pieces that are gonna, now these ones need to be pretty short that you're gonna make like a little teepee here with. And just kinda and if you cut them at sort of a bit of an angle like this with your scissors, and these little cutters are so awesome for that. So then I just put a little blob right here, stick that in like that, and then just measure another piece. Again, cut it at a bit of an angle, and then they fit together really nicely when you do that. Put some more glue here and a little bit up there. I don't know what we did before glue guns. You know, I really, really don't. <laughs> I use my glue gun. I just leave it out. It's out all the time. I'm always finding a use for it. I don't know about you guys, but I love glue guns. Okay, so my last little piece is just going to go right in here. And right there. And voila. And there you have it. There's your cute little, and it flickers. It's just like a little fire. I just love how that looks. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put all these pieces into my fairy garden, and I'm gonna show you what the final product looks like.
So you'll notice that I took out the dead daffodils. I actually ended up keeping a lot of the greenery. What I did was I just cut the ones that were really droopy and that really just didn't look good anymore. I kind of like just the greenery looks really good. The other thing that I did was I just took a sprig of these little flowers, these little yellow flake, fake flowers from Dollar Tree, and I just cut them off their stem and I just stuck them down into the ground, into the dirt. And that really just gives it a pop, a color, and I'm really liking the way that all looks now. Uh, I took the white dock out, and I'm going to go ahead and put my new little brown dock in, and we'll just see how this, how this looks. Just put that right into place like that. Yes, I'm liking the way that looks so far. And then I think once we put these little chairs on, that's really going to make it pop. So I'll just put these right into place here. And the last piece is our little fire pit. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm loving the look of the brown dock. It just, it just goes better with the little house. And I think it looks better having the white chairs because I've got the little white bench and the white fence in the background. So yes, I am really liking the way this looks now. So there you have it, everybody. Now you can too uh, make your own little little lakes house scene here with your little around deck chairs and the dock and a little fireplace. Doesn't it just make you want to live here? <laughs> I totally wish I could live here. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. There will be more tutorials to come on different other little accessories. I am going to be doing one on probably like the birdhouse and the fence. And I have some other ideas as well that I want to share with you. So stay tuned for those. They'll be coming soon. And until next time, I'll catch you again. Bye for now, everyone.